Hello there. The weather at this time of year in Europe can fluctuate between winter and spring. By that, I mean we can see some early spring warmth and it's beautiful, but we can also continue to see spells of late winter. That's what we've got at the moment with some wintry weather pushing out of Scandinavia through Finland into Poland. And with that northerly component still with us, those temperatures are subdued for the time of year. Also pretty stormy across the southern foot of Italy with uh, snow across the Balkans. That's going to be drifting its way steadily eastwards. Fine and quiet across mainland Greece and Turkey. And although the French Riviera along with Spain and Portugal seeing a good deal of dry sunny weather, those temperatures are pretty subdued really for this time of year. Quite a lot of cloud, a northerly flow and a cooler feel across northern France, the low countries Germany and Poland. Now, as we move out of Sunday into Monday, good deal of dry weather still in the forecast, but again, those temperatures are a little disappointing and still further heavy snow expected across Bulgaria and Romania in particular. So let's take a look at the city forecast. As I say, slow improvement as we go through the week. We could see temperatures in Madrid peaking at 20 degrees by Friday and still plenty of sunshine expected. As for Northern Europe, a gradual improvement. Germany will see highs of 14 degrees by Friday. Take care. Hello there. It's a quieter weather in North America, particularly in comparison to where we were just a few days ago with the tornadic activity in the Deep South. A large area of high pressure is keeping things fine and quiet. And on top of that, a southerly wind is driving some of that warmth up through the Gulf as along that eastern seaboard. So temperatures are slightly above the average for the time of year. You can see where the exception is across the northwest with weather fronts pushing in off the Pacific. And on the leading edge of that, is it higher ground, we'll see some snow to the northern Rockies as well. So let's take a look at that in a little more detail. By the middle of the afternoon, we will have some rain close to the coast and snow showers to higher ground across British Columbia and also into Oregon. California stays fine and sunny, more significant snow across the northern Rockies too. So over the next few days, I suspect it's a similar story. We keep that rain across Vancouver and Seattle, San Francisco and Los Angeles keeps the sunshine and the warmth. Now across the eastern seaboard, a good deal of dry weather, a good deal of sunshine around as well, extending all the way down as far south as parts of Georgia into the Carolinas, where we could see a few scattered sharp showers here and maybe some of those into Florida as well. But generally speaking, it's about the warmth over the next few days with slightly above average temperatures for both Montreal and New York. Pleasant enough. Atlanta sees highs of 21. Hello there. Some rain to come across South America over the next few days, but slowly pushing its way steadily north and east. And if we take a look at the satellite picture, it's this area of cloud that I'm talking about, and it's going to be affecting northern Argentina, moving its way into Uruguay. Some very heavy downpours, as you can see by the brighter colours. Don't forget the greens and the yellows denoting the intensity of that rain. So further north, close to the Amazon basin as well, we've got some sharper showers, particularly across parts of Colombia. Some of these could be quite intense as well, bringing a lot of rain in a short space of time. Some pretty sharp showers across western Brazil. Not looking too bad though, down through the south and the east, largely fine and quiet. There's that wet weather moving its way gradually into Uruguay out of Argentina. Behind it, fine with some sunshine coming through. Weak weather front bringing some cloud and a bit more of a breeze down to the extreme south. So here's our city forecast for the next few days. You can see that improving picture in Buenos Aires. More sunshine expected as we go through the week. As for Mexico, along with Central America, Mexico itself largely fine and quiet. Down through the Yucatan Peninsula into Belize and parts of Guatemala, we will see some sharper showers. The same too for Costa Rica as well. For the Caribbean, a few isolated showers, not amounting to much. It's all about the sunshine at this time of year. And you can see that in the city forecast. Fine and pleasant weather conditions to come. Hello there. Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Bahrain had some record-breaking spring warmth just a couple of days ago. Temperatures will start to ease and then return. I'll come back to that in just a moment. Now, across to Africa, you can see where most of the weather action is sitting, across the Gulf of Guinea and across the equator as well. Some showers into Madagascar, northern Mozambique, fine and dry across South Africa, and a few scattered showers pushing out of Morocco towards Libya 
as we go through the weekend. That's the story into Africa. Let's take a look at the city forecast, see what to expect over the next five days. Little change really for Cape Town. In fact, if anything, those temperatures climbing into the mid 30s through the middle part of the week. It looks likely that we'll continue to see that improving picture into Morocco. Casablanca seeing highs of 20 with lots of sunshine expected as well. Now, as I say, the Middle East saw some warmth, but temperatures easing a little as we have more of a breeze coming from the north. So a bit of a shamal that could bring some lifted dust. There's certainly a cooler feel along those Gulf coasts as well. But over the next few days, we are expecting the temperatures to climb back up again as the wind changes direction once again. So a good deal of dry weather, a good deal of sunshine around. Let's take a look at the city forecast. And as you can see, those temperatures will go from high 20s back to the mid 30s as we go through the week. Hello then. The forecast for South Asia is fairly straightforward. At this time of year, it's all about the heat building, really, isn't it? And that's exactly what's going to happen. There are a few showers around, but fairly isolated. Most widespread, as you can see on the satellite picture, down through Sri Lanka, elsewhere, dry, settled, sunny and starting to get pretty warm as well. The exception is across the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. Here into northern Pakistan, we'll see some rain and some snow across the mountains. So let's take a look at Central Asia in a little more detail. And you can see quite clearly the intensity of that rainfall here with snow to higher ground. Colder in Kazakhstan, but it may get a little bit colder over the next few days. A good deal of dry weather, though, generally to the west of that good deal of sunshine is expected to come through. So down now back to India and it looks likely that we'll continue to see that dry settled weather, a few isolated showers across that Kerala coast and maybe into Sri Lanka. But generally speaking, despite a little bit of fair weather cloud threatening to roll in off the sea for northeastern states of India, it's fairly straightforward. And the city forecasts reflect this, as you can see quite clearly, with some sharp thundery downpours expected to continue in Sri Lanka throughout much of the week. But as I said, getting a tad colder across uh, parts of Kazakhstan with some snow showers expected. Hello there. Forecast for Australia and New Zealand coming up shortly. But first of all, let's take a look at what's happening in Asia. Satellite picture is picking up shower cloud developing, particularly widespread across Indonesia. And we'll see some heavier showers into the Philippines. Further north, it's a largely quiet story over the next few days. We've got a weather front that's bringing some wet and windy weather across Japan. That will ease away by Monday. And then behind it, an area of high pressure still sits across China. Got a few showers just to the south of Shanghai into Hong Kong, largely quiet into Vietnam and Thailand. There's the showers across the Philippines and Indonesia, some of these heavy and widespread. So city forecast shows some showers, also shows a good deal of fine weather with heat building in Beijing. Now into Australia, we still have the potential for some life-threatening heavy rainfall across the Queensland and in particular the New South Wales coast. Some pretty intense showers on Sunday and this area of wet weather will move further east as we move into Monday as well. So still there is the potential for some damaging gusts of winds, heavy rain and the potential for some flooding here. Across to New Zealand, it's largely fine and quite a good deal of dry weather with high pressure dominating here and temperatures into the high teens. But you can see both Sydney and Canberra keep those relentless sharp thundery downpours going for the next few days.